Hi gang, thanks for joining me here with another 116 scale review. Uh, kind of another rolly chair production. <laughs> anyway, so this is the International 766 Precision uh, Elite. So this thing, super cool. Um, you know, so being Precision Elite, you get lights that flash, your lights come on, all that fun stuff. Really great looking, um, great looking outfit. No, no International from this era had had nice clear lights like that. They always had those terrible old yellow lights that you could see about seven feet in front of you. But uh, anyway, really cool, cool, uh, cool feature there that they did on these. So the, the thing with these internationals is these are always popular. So this hasn't been out too long. What maybe a year now? I'm thinking or so. Uh, and I may be off on that, but uh, these are still up around the $200 price range uh, for these 766s. Anything international and farmall just seems to hold its value, especially in this muscle tractor era. So that's just kind of the way it is right now. But let's take a look at some of the uh, check. I said check and take at the same time. Let's take a look at some of the details here. Nice wheel weights here on the wheels. Great battery detail as well as a bit of a toolbox there. I don't know how the heck you're opening that thing. Maybe this pops down. I don't know. Nice steps here on the side. Engine detail's fantastic on these. Um, lots of separate casting pieces there, so you can see all of your different, you know, filters and all that sort of thing going on there. Manifold and all that. Let's go ahead and run you around to the side here. Again, great detail over here on the engine. We've got another set of steps here. Handrails galore and all of your all of your um, levers and all that sort of thing. Sorry guys, I apologize I'm uh, for struggling to find words here. It's been a thing. Uh, as some of you guys know, I got sick back in January, and I'll be honest, I still haven't felt quite myself, and I'm still struggling with some memory recall and things of that nature. So again, I just I apologize if I'm sounding weird or a little slow here. It's just, unfortunately, it's some things just haven't come back to me yet. Um, Anyway, so I just want to turn that on again so you can see this rear work light back here. Uh, quite the difference between this era of tractor and the modern era where you've got enough lights to light up a small city <laughs> and here you got one light shining on your implement. <laughs> um, so you got the three point of course, no quick hitch, and then we've got a uh, PTO down there, nice looking draw bar. Um, one thing I will note is this console here feels really far back to me. I think pretty sure this is supposed to be more up this way so I don't know that's uh, it's not a huge deal obviously but um, I think that could be you know that that's maybe one knock against it seat looks great seats like uh, kind of a plasticky type material uh, but it looks awesome uh, you got your levers there your feet foot feet there um, of course being a precision model everything's gonna move for you uh, all that sort of thing and you can probably see the key jiggling down here now that's really neat that's just a super cool detail uh, that Ertl added to these of course it does steer the steering's notchy on this thing which is uh, kind of a little goofy but uh, still a great you know glad to see it steer and all that sort of thing now let's take a look at this and let's just uh, you know what I like to do on these 16 tractors I like to get us a view from the driver's seat before we finish up here so that's kind of what this is gonna look like looking down the the hood of this thing so Anyway, guys, I know that was a quick review. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a great tractor. I highly recommend it if you're a farm all or international guy or just a muscle tractor guy. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a great day and happy tractor hunting.